Hey guys, just want to shoot a quick video on the installation of my security camera, the uh, SV3C. I just got it in the mail. Um, I've already hooked it up to my phone with the uh, free download app, and there's the instructions are pretty good with setting it up as far as hooking it to your phone and your Wi-Fi. Uh, just follow the directions There is a couple of things that the videos that I've seen and the directions don't really talk about um, A couple of times I had to restart my phone once I set it up with the new password and so forth I had to restart my phone to get it to work. So keep that in mind another thing That the videos I've watched and the instructions don't talk about is where to put the SD card or how to uh, mount it. The SD card, um, if you look at the face of the camera, there's four, well basically you can just see four holes, but there's four little Phillips screws in those holes that you got to take off. Basically you take the four screws out and, uh, and then this this whole face here, the black part, will slide forward, and then it will, and then you'll see the guts of the camera, and there's an SD slot inside there. That's where you put your SD card, and then slide it back in place, put the little screws back in place, tighten it down pretty good because it's supposed to be watertight. Uh, it is an outside camera, and you should be good to go there. Uh, mounting it, this little black trim piece. It kind of pops off with a little force, either a fingernail or a screwdriver. Um, let's pop that off, and then you can mount it with the uh, three screws that are provided. And then you simply replace the trim piece, line it back up to where this little groove meets the groove on the white part, and then it will snap over the screws to give it a finished look and presto also I didn't see anything in the instructions about the third um, wire coming out this is the bigger one you use to hook up to your Wi-Fi that's kind of a manual thing with the HDMI cord that it provides. The one that's opened is going to be your power source. This third one that has a cap on it, it's actually, you, you pop the cap open and there's a button. You push it and it clicks. I couldn't find anywhere what that was. Well, that's basically a reset button. So you really shouldn't need it unless you need to reset the camera for some reason. I just keep the cap on that. Uh, and you probably won't need it. But anyway, that's two or three things that uh, I haven't seen on any videos or any, on any instructions. But uh, hopefully that will help you get your camera up and running. Thanks, guys.